All right, how's it going YouTube? I got another Bible review of the new literal standard version, the LSV. This is a formal equivalent, meaning word for word translation. It is the most literal version of the modern translations. So I would say this is more uh, literal, more formal than the NASB. So, you know, and everybody needs a formal equivalence uh, Bible, uh, you know, as well as dynamic equivalence. But especially if you want to seriously study the Bible, you need a formal equivalence. And I think the literal standard version is the best and the most accurate formal word for word translation. Now, this Bible, uh, the, this translation is a major revision of the Young's literal translation. Now, I'm, now, I'm not too familiar with the YLT, um, but, but I will be familiar with this one because I'm going to be, you know, this is, I'm going to make this my primary uh, word for word Bible because it's a great translation. And uh, we'll talk about more as to why that is. But as far as the the Bible, the physical Bible itself. This is an amazing hard hardback. Um, very light, and as you can see, this, it, it's basically a rectangle, which is full of rectangles, rectangle, rectangle. And uh, here's the ISBN number. So feel free to pause the video and uh, look it up on look up, look up to get it on Amazon or wherever you get your Bibles. <clears throat> so, oops. sorry. Okay. So this is done by Covenant Christian Coalition, the Triple C. I don't know if they like to be referred to that, but they're they are the Covenant Christian Coalition, literal standard version, the Holy Bible. So. <clears throat> The 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 hardcover is just plain on the outside. I mean, that's pretty much it. The, so let's turn over. Now this is done with regular book paper. This is not done by Bible paper. Okay, so let's open it up, and here is the presentation page, literal, literal standard version LSV of the Holy Bible first edition containing the Old and New Testaments, copyright 2020 by Covenant Press of the Covenant Christian Coalition. And here's the website, www.ccc.1 and www.lsvbible.com. And it's just a great presentation page. Again, this is, uh, this is just, you know, your typical book paper. It's not Bible paper. But yet, and and even with and even with this being just typical paperback paper, you know, regular book paper, it's really not that heavy. You could actually, you could actually make this a carry a carry Bible. Um, I know it looks like it, it from what it looks. It looks like it could be heavy, but when you feel it in your hands, it's very light. So here's the names and the order of the books of the Bible pretty standard stuff and then here is the preface and I'm just gonna quickly scrim through it you guys can pause and read it along with it so basically this translation is uh, for the Hebrew and the Aramaic they use the Masoretic text which I love because I love the KJV I love the NKJV I love the MEV so they use the Masoretic text but they, but they also use the Septuagint, Samaritan Pentateuch, and the Dead Sea Scrolls. So, you know, they, they, but for the most part, it's Masoretic text. And for the New Testament, um, for, the, for the New Testament, they use the Textus Receptus and the Majority Text. Um, but they also use the Alexandrian um, sometimes. I don't know how often they use it, but they use the Alexandrian, but it's mainly a Textus Receptus Bible. It's mainly a ma uh, majority text uh, Bible. 
and uh, they also use the Septuagint, Dead Sea Scrolls in the Hebrew and Aramaic, and the Alexandrian and the Greek. So, you know, uh, it, no problem with that. No problem with that. Um, okay. And, I, and again, this is a major revision of the Young's literal translation. So, um, so you're probably like, what does that mean? Well, basically, um, if you look, the ESV is a, a revision of the RSV. Uh, the NKJV and the MEV are a major revision of the KJV. And so this is like, so the uh, literal standard version is a major revision of the uh, Young's literal translation. It's like the NKJV of the, or the ESV of the Young's literal translation. Um, but, and I'm sure a lot of people are like, oh, what's the Young's literal? Again, it's, the Young's literal translation is not very well known, and uh, but you know, I'll give it a shot. Um, okay, so let's just go over it. I'm just gonna have you. And then here, why should we trust the Holy Bible over other religious, historical, and scientific texts? I'm just gonna go glance over this, and you guys can pause it and read it because I think they they make great. You know the people behind this bible really know their scripture you know and and that's fantastic because we we have to be we have to place our christianity our faith in the scriptures you know and and just by reading you know the preface and all that the, the people uh the the Covenant Christian Coalition, they really know their Bible. I mean, they're solo scriptural 100%. I mean, you, uh, you know. So, okay, introduction to the LSB. Um, so, again, the literal standard version of the Holy Bible is a major revision of the Young's literal translation and maintains... Many of Robert Young's great contributions to the field of Bible translation and research, the relationship of the LSV to Young's literal translation is similar to that of the ESV to the RSV or the NKJV and MEV to the KJV. Young's literal translation was the most literal translation of the Bible uh, ever made into English up to this point for three reasons. One, preservation of verb tenses two, consistent word-for-word -word translation, and three, general preservation of word order. And the LSV maintains the first two rules. Okay, so with, so I guess, so with the word order, they're gonna be a little bit more uh, lenient to make it more readable, uh, right? Because part of the reason why they, why the Young's literal translation wasn't as popular is because they weren't, uh, they weren't lenient with the word order, so it read, it, it was, it read like a, you know, it was very, uh, tough to read, you know, because they maintained the word order of the Greek, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. <clears throat> so, let's go look around, I'm just gonna have you pull out the translation. And they do with this bible they do put god's divine name the tetragrammaton as y-h-w-h and they basically said you, you know it's up to you on how you want to pronounce it whether it's yahweh or yehovah i prefer yahweh um i don't like the term jehovah just because you know jehovah's witnesses kind of you know so I, I personally will pronounce it as Yahweh when I read this Bible. But you can also uh, pronounce it Yehovah. That's pretty interesting. And, and obviously, we don't know. Um, we only have YHWH uh, because... But, but they didn't give us the vowels. So we don't really know what the correct pronunciation is. So I'm just going to try to... So I, in, in my personal opinion, I think Yahweh is as close to what the 
original pronunciation of the of the tetragrammaton was but of course we'll never really know but i don't think Je i don't think it's jehovah and by the way jehovah was um the the pronunciation of of jehovah was done by a catholic monk and isn't it, isn't it ironic that jehovah's witnesses they're very anti catholic but they use jehovah which was a invention by a, a catholic monk but i prefer yahweh i think yahweh is the um correct um i think yahweh is uh, as it gets real close to what the the, the the pronunciation of the divine name so and then here is the good news of salvation and i'm just gonna pause this for any new christian and i'm just gonna read it because i think it's just great in accordance with scripture christ the messiah the son of the living god became human incarnate in the person of jesus of nazareth lived a morally perfect and sinless life died for our sins on the cross as a substitutionary sacrifice was buried in a tomb and was raised bodily from the dead on the third day everyone who hears and accepts this message of salvation believing in their hearts that god raised christ from the dead will be pardoned of all their sins given the gift of the holy spirit and granted everlasting life with god salvation is found in christ alone by grace alone through faith alone and not by works amen and i love how they just said it not by works <laughs> so here we got key scriptures i love this part because you know i think that I, th I think this is how i'm gonna start with this bible i'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna go through all this and it's fantastic so key scriptures and here's the Old Testament. Again, you know, that it's nicely done uh, with simple design. And I and with Genesis, they have this uh, sketch of a dove. And it, and by the way, the sketch is actually good because since it's in book paper, uh, regular book paper, it's it's better to have a sketch as opposed to a um, you know some sort of you know uh painting or something but the sketch is complementary to the book paper so here we have genesis and uh two column uh divided by the line i i like when bibles have a line just like that it's just i don't know and i enjoy one of the things I enjoy is the large, bold print of the chapter numbers. I mean, you can just see it, right? Like, you know where you're at. So, it's, uh, love the formatting. Uh, okay, so here we have the, okay, so, and Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahweh. I'm gonna pronounce that as Yahweh. These are the generations of Noah. Noah is a righteous man. And if, and if a word is in brackets, it's usually not found in the original Hebrew, Aramaic, or Greek. So it's kind of, you know, instead of italicizing it, they just put it in brackets. These are the generations of Noah. Noah is a righteous man. He has been perfect. Among his generations, Noah has habitually walked with God. And Noah begets three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and the earth is corrupt before God and the earth is filled with violence and God sees the earth and behold it has been corrupted for all flesh has corrupted uh, in its way okay so you have again I just appreciate the um, large bold chapter verses and and of course this is the only Bible I have um, with with the tetragrammaton at this way and I love that they did it and I love that how they leave it up to the readers on how to pronounce it you can pronounce it as Yahweh or Yehovah definitely not Jehovah that's just wrong <clears throat> so I just try to <clears throat> fantastic <clears throat> and then at the top you have genesis okay let's just skip a couple pages and this is pretty much how the whole bible is going to be set up you know 
Um, there it is again. It's a tetragrammaton. I love it. And Samuel has not yet known Yahweh, and the word of Yahweh is not yet revealed to him. And Yahweh adds to Samuel the third time he rises and goes to Eli and says, Here I am, for you have called me. And Eli understands that Yahweh is calling to the youth. And Eli says to Samuel, Go lie down, and it has been. If he calls you, that you have said, Speak, Yahweh, for your servant is hearing. And Samuel goes and lies down in his place. And Yahweh comes and stations himself and calls as time by time Samuel Samuel and Samuel speaks Sa Samuel says speak for your servant is here and Yahweh says to Samuel behold I am doing a thing in Israel at which the two ears of everyone hearing it tingle so it's very it's it's very readable even though it is very it, it's the most formal most literal translation it's uh the next level above this in terms of word for word would be an interlinear so this is like a translation uh and then if you want and if you wanted to get more literal you'd have to get an, an interlinear because this is literally the most uh most formal equivalent of all the of all the translations uh modern english translation but even though it's a formal equivalent uh it's still it's it's still very readable. I mean, you just heard me read that. It's it's not like it's choppy. You know, a lot of people when they talk about the NASB, they say, "Well, I prefer the ESV because it reads smoother." While the NASB, it's it's a it sounds wooden. This this translation is it it, it reads well. It's not wooden at all. I mean, so, anyways, let's continue. And again, it's just this is just how it, it's formatted. But let's go to the back. There's some good stuff in the back. So again, here's the ISBN number. Go ahead and pause it once again. So these, so the Covenant Christian Coalition is unapologetically evangelical. It is post-denominational coalition of churches still faithful to Christ and the gospel. And of course, you have your sola fide, sola gratiae, solos Christus, sola scriptura, soli Deo gloria. And, um, <clears throat> and you, uh, so there are a coalition of churches faithful to Christ and the gospel, and you can learn more at www.ccc.1. So I'm guessing that they have, if you go on their website, you can find some churches like that they have and I think I will because, hey, I mean, the people behind this translation, they, they really know their Bible and they really know, you know, they're very, um, it's like the Bereans, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't mind wanting, I wouldn't mind going to a church that's affiliated with the, uh, what is it? The, uh, Covenant Christian Coalition. I wouldn't mind going to a I wouldn't mind uh, transferring my membership to that church because obviously they know they know their Bible and you want to know and you want to belong to a church that really sticks to the Word of God. And so here's the end of the New Testament, and they have another sketch, which is just great. It's just you know it's a tiny thing. And then here they have the covenant of the CCC. We believe in one God revealed to the world as Yahweh of Israel, uncreated, self-existent, eternal, all-powerful, and unchanging. He knows all things, and there is nowhere where he is not. He is good, his word is inerrant, and his nature is love. We believe God subsists as uh, as the mutual indwelling of three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in eternal communion. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit come from God the Father, and throughout eternity they have always existed with God, with the Father. We believe God created a time, space, matter, and all things, accomplishing his initial uh, act of creation in only six days. On the sixth day, God created man in his own image out of dust. Adam, the first male, Eve, the first female. We believe God said the man should be joined to his wife, and in doing so, the two would become one flesh in marriage in diversity. He created the marital union sacred. 
monogamous and dissoluble only by death or unfaithfulness we believe god gave man the choice of obedience or rebellion and adam and eve willfully rebelled by eating the forbidden fruit which came from the tree of knowledge of good and evil they suffered spiritual death and passed their sin nature onto us we believe that god justly judged the word world with a flood sparing noah and his family through whom came the nations and from noah's son Shem came Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and from Jacob the twelve tribes of Israel and the prophets. We believe in the fullness of time God gave us his son born under the law to redeem those condemned by the law. He was born in the town of Bethlehem to a virgin named Mary and, and in accordance with God's command it was named Jesus. We believe Jesus was chosen before the creation of the world to live a sinless human life in perfect obedience to the Father that he might die a substitutionary death in place of sinners giving, giving forgiveness of sins and eternal life to all who trust in him. We believe Jesus freely gave his life in obedience to the Father and at the order of Pontius Pilate was flogged and crucified at the ninth hour he declared his purpose and death was finished and he died and was buried in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea we believe that death had no power over God's perfect son and on the third day he conquered death by rising to life again this was literal physical and attested to by over 500 witnesses 500 people witnessed Christ's bodily res resurrection amen and in and is the event that gives power and validation to our faith. We believe men are only reconciled to God through Jesus Christ and receive salvation by grace through faith, apart from works. By the Spirit, all believers are baptized into one body, the church, Christians, baptized, share communion, and love one another. We believe the church is, is a universal priesthood of believers. Membership is not obtained by belonging to a denomination, but is received by trusting Jesus for the forgiveness of sins. The church awaits Jesus' soon return when he will ca call us home. And that's just great. Convictions of the CCC, and I'll let you, and I'll just skim over this one. This video is getting over 20 minutes. I'll just let you guys read that. And uh, here's the positions of the CCC, and this is fantastic. This is really cool because... They talk about abortion, adultery, alcohol consumption, anti-Semitism. They, you know, they, I, I love it because they're not, you know, they're tackling the tough issues that, I mean, you you wouldn't find this in like an NLT Bible, you know what I mean? Contraception, divorce, I mean, they, they're tackling issues that um, some Bibles will not. Embryonic, stem cell research, eugenics, euthanasia, fornication, gender roles, uh, genetic manipulation, homosexuality, homosexual marriage, in vitro fertilization, marrying unbelievers, media, narcotic use, pornography, racism, slavery, speech, theft, transgenderism. <laughs> so they're, they, these guys are, um, you know, they're, they're not afraid to voice their uh, godly, biblical, uh, scriptural answer to these hard-hitting subjects that some people just don't want to uh, tackle. And here's the about the Bible, languages of the Bible, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, date of composition, okay, so number of books, 66. And that is about it. Again, these guys are very much evangelical, Bible-believing, biblical, um, sola fide, sola gratia, solus Christus, Sola Scriptura, Soli Deo Gloria, Faith Alone, Grace Alone, Christ Alone, Scripture Alone, Glory of God Alone, and here's their website. I'm going to check out if, uh, if there's a uh, CCC church near me, because I'd love to just go there, and I, and, and I wonder if the pastor of, of a CCC church would use this translation so covenant christian coalition well done with the with your major revision of the uh young's literal translation anyways that's all i have today you guys should pick it up and uh 
God bless you all and stay safe and, you know, just pray for the world to, you know, uh, get back to normal. But anyways, I love you all. God bless you all. Peace.